So the topic for this year, or the, the focus for this year, you know, I believe in God's promises. Uh, I don't know how many of you went to church and picked up a promise card. Did you, anyone do that? Wherever you went. I remember when we were young, you know, my brother went and picked up a promise card. I think it was around 14 or something. It says, your children shall be blessed by the, taught by the Lord. So he said, he saw it. I saw him throwing it and picking up another thing, you know. So it's not a lottery where you pick up something and, you know, every promises of God is yes and amen for us. Amen. Every promises of God is made available for us through Jesus Christ. So I don't want to look at it as, you know, okay, this year, this is a promise. But I, I mean, I'm just casting the vision for this year, for us, for life and grace, for you. And if you believe it, you will also receive it. The, I mean, you will also experience it. The, the focus for this year is manifesting. Amen. Manifestation. I want to look at it in the sense of what has been hit so far. What has been kept away so far? What has been forgotten so far? It could be you, it could be your finances, it could be your, you know, your honor, it could be uh, uh, the position, whatever it is. What has been hit so far will be seen. You have been forgotten, but you will be seen. Amen. You have been, you know, denied the opportunity, but you will be brought to that place where you will be recognized and you will be, you will be shown to the world. Saying, he, she is a reason. Amen. Manifestation. The Bible says in Romans 8, 19, the creations waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. The creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God to be revealed. Amen. Do you know that? You and I are the sons of God. Amen. You and I are the children of God. Amen. You and I are the resemblance of God in this world. You and I are called to be like him in this world. Amen. And the world is waiting for the manifestation. The world is waiting to see you as sons and daughters of God. Amen. The world is wanting to experience God in you and through you. The world is wanting to reach out to God because of you. Amen. Your workplace, your family, your, uh, your, uh, your institution where you study, your business, whatever it is, they want to experience God through you. The creation is waiting in eager expectation for the sons of God for you and me, who are sons of God, to be revealed. Amen? You know, in John chapter 1, uh, was, uh, we'll read 12 and 13. You know, what it is to be sons of God, okay? It to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. How did he become sons and daughters of God? Just by believing. Amen. You and I, when we believed in the name of Jesus Christ, we are given the right to become the children of God. That means you have been given the right to exercise the abilities, the attributes, the wisdom, the strength, the touch, the comfort, the healing that can come only from God. Amen. You and I have received the right to exercise it, to manifest it, to, uh, you know, to exhibit it. Do you get it? You know, many people think, uh, I, I recently heard someone making a statement, you know what? I fasted for three months before this New Year service. So I can receive a word from God. There's nothing wrong in fasting. Okay? There's nothing, you don't eat. You don't want to stay fit during Christmas, that's fine. Okay? There's nothing wrong in it. But if you think you can, you know, do all this nuttocks to receive from God, can I tell you something? God is not moved. You know what moves God? Faith. Some people have faith, but in their, in their acts, in their deeds, have faith in God. 
Have faith in grace. Have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Have faith in the intercessory, uh, and the, uh, the intercession of Jesus Christ. Have faith in him, not in you. Not in what you can do. Oh, I did it right, so it's going to be, be all right. No, he did it right, and so it's going to be all right. Amen? So you and I receive the rights to exercise the entirety of God just by faith. Amen? So you and I become sons of God by believing in Jesus. You need to be sure of that. I believe in Jesus. You know? Somebody wrote, a missionary wrote to the headquarters, you know. Pastor, I mean, he wrote, it's really getting hard here. Yeah. It's really, I mean, I'm struggling in this mission field. So they sent a telegram back saying, try tears. What are they saying? You know, you try man, you work hard. And they also have another terminology, you know, for people who are struggling. Did you try neology? You know what neology is? You don't know good people. You've heard so much crazy, you don't know what neology is. Bend your knees and pray is what they're saying. Like theology, neology. You know? Check it all out. Try Jesusology, new term. Graceology, favorology, you know, bloodology. Try that. Amen. So don't try the triology and the neology. Graceology and Jesusology is better. You know, God didn't call you to strive and live life. God wants you to live a rest-filled life. Amen. Rest-filled life. From rest. Not for rest. You know, people have go, go into retirement plans, right? Why? They want to rest after 40s. Retire in 40. But for me, life begins at 40. For you, life begins at 40. Amen? They get into all of that. You no, know, whether I get to 40 or 50 or 60, I live from rest. I don't live for rest. I don't work for retirement. You know, Caleb, when he was 80, he went to Joshua and said, you know what, when I was 40, I had that strength, and I'm 80 now, I still have the same strength. That is the life God is calling you into. Okay, let's get to being sons of God. So we become sons of God by faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, and the next, next verse says, children born, born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. Now look at you. He's saying you and I are sons of God. That means you are born of God. You are birthed out of God. Isn't that beautiful? I'm born, I am of God now. You know, a part of God has been taken away and has been designed and that is who I am. And that is who you are. You know, some people, you know, the, uh, you know what the Pharisees had problem with about Jesus? They were happy with the miracles. They were happy that they got extra wine, new wine, you know, better tasting wine. But the minute he said, I am a son of, I am a child of God. I am a son of God. He is my father. They had problem with that. Till then they were happy. You know, the wine at Cana, they were happy. The five loaves and two fishes, they were happy. You know, the blind man was happy. The lepers were happy. The lady caught with the issue of blood was happy. But the minute he said, I am the son of God. And he is my father. I am the son. I am an exact representation of his, uh, of his being. They had problem with that. So now I want you to know the church will have problem if you go around tell them, I am the child of God, I am the son of God. And the next minute, you know what they say? Okay, prove it. They want to look at your life. How good you are. How on time you come to church. You know? How much are you helping in the church? Are you tithing properly? Uh, are you having a fasting prayer? Are you, uh, you know, how many breakfasts are you skipping? Sundays, uh, you know, in those days, seven, uh, seventh day, the uh, Sabbath day, you shouldn't do any work. So there are people who don't eat on Sundays. 
they will order food from outside they won't light their stove is it have you heard that my father even preached on that and there's a big church in tamil nadu they i mean the entire church didn't cook that sunday poor guys <laughs> that's the only day the children would have thought you know I, yeah you know in bangalore every day we have beef pork chicken mutton everything but in tamil nadu wednesday i don't know in my home wednesday is seafood day sunday is non vegetarian day other days only vegetarian and imagine if there's any home like that this man goes and preaches sabbath day no stove the children would have thought i better not serve a god like this where was i <laughs> why did i come here ah sons of god of god uh, i mean a part of god taken out and he fashioned me that is who i am that is who you are amen and the world is wanting to see that about you the world is wanting to experience that about you all these years they were experiencing the self pity you you know the cry baby you the depressed you the anxious you the panicky you you know the upset you the long face you the 6 o'clock face you there are people you you don't want even i mean you don't want to talk to them you go to them the, they are so negative you will be oozing negativity and my daughter is saying the grumpy you <laughs> i know why she is laughing the grumpy you right that's enough the old is gone the new has come 2018 has gone 2019 the old you is you okay the new is new you is of god amen of god there's power in your hand to heal the people there's power in your hand to restore there is power in your hand to reconcile there is power in your hand to bring solution there is power in your hand to bring comfort that is a new you be god for this world you know god told moses you go and be i mean i will make you a god to pharaoh and i'm telling you you will be made a god in every place that you go to every place that you're working in every businesses that you're attempting everything that you do you will be a god there amen that's why you know while we were worshiping i i declared this right you it is time uh, that you being controlled is over you being in control is coming amen the god you people are going to recognize the god you of god you you know not the of adam not the second adam not the i mean not the likeness of the first adam but the likeness of the second adam amen many times we wonder is this uh uh you know is it even possible am i even right okay uh read uh ephesians chapter uh 2 was 10 Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 For we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do You and I are God's God's workmanship Amen created in Jesus Christ Amen See when you believed in Jesus you received the workmanship of God in you Amen the outside you is the same you know the 2018 prince is the 2019 prince the same but inside me what is growing more and more and more is this the workmanship of God through Jesus Christ which are received through faith in Jesus Christ in another word what is abounding inside of you which you are going to manifest in this new year is this the good works that god has prepared for you in advance amen in another word god in prepare all the good things all the good works all the good things that you're going to try and do you know based on you he based it on the sacrifice of jesus christ do you get it you're going to do so many good things how many of you are 
ready for it. Great things are going to happen through you. Amen. Awesome things. You are going to be naturally supernatural. Amen. Wherever you go, the waters will turn into wine. Amen. Wherever you go, the morning will turn into dancing. You will bring people stuck in sorrow into a place of joy. Those who are in depression, you are going to deliver them. You are going to bring them into the place of happiness, peace and prosperity. God is going to use you because that's what God has prepared you for. But the thing is, you and I need to understand it is not works, it is through grace. You know, when God called Job, when God spoke about Job, he said, did you, I mean, he's talking to the devil. Job, devil, did you take a look at my son? Job, righteous in many ways. Do you think Job was righteous? The biggest complaint box. Scary cat he is. His children go for a party, he is offering sacrifice. God is not even asking, you know. He's so, uh, he's not confident about God's love. And, you know, the Bible says, in all of this, Job neither sinned nor rejected God. I mean, God is writing about him. But, you know, if you look at his story, he's talking so bad. God, are you really there? Are you out there helping me? Or why aren't you delivering me? And I mean, he is complaining so much about God. But God is talking about Job saying, you know what? He's, my, he's righteous in many ways. He's perfect in many ways. Now what I'm trying to tell you is this. If you are God's workmanship, if you believe in that, you need to understand it is not based on you. It is based on his power that is working inside of you. Amen. You are a work in progress. You might not feel like, you know, I am God in this world. You might feel like, you know, I am the enemy of the entire world. Everybody is against you. Don't worry. You are a work in progress. You are a work in progress. You know, Joseph was forgotten in the prison. He was forgotten. But it was a work in progress. When the time came, you know, they brought him out saying, In him is the spirit of the living God. Amen. In him is the spirit of the living God. He was forgotten. It looked like, you know, nobody cares about him. It might be the same for you. All these years, 2018, you know, how many, I don't know how many years you've lived so far. (laughs) We've We've lived so many years so far. All these years, you know, I don't know what went wrong. But can I tell you something? This is a year you will be manifested as sons and daughters of God. They're going to look at you and say, you were good. Man, where were you all these years? You were good. Because God's workmanship, right? You know, in the creation story, after everything God created, what did he say? What did he say? It is good. So if God is, I mean, if you are the workmanship of God, every day of your life, every day of this 2019, they're going to look at you and say, you are good. Turn to the person next to you and tell them, you are good. I'm good. We are good. You know, I mean, that means what are they recognizing? They are recognizing there's something special about Say something beautiful about you. You know what is it? It is of God. The God in you. Amen. Isn't it exciting to know that we are so loved by God. You know the Bible says even the number. I mean every hair of yours is numbered. Right? All your days are numbered by him. You might be going through, you might have gone through some of the worst years of your life. Forget it. It's over. You can do nothing about it. Amen? Check it out. Kick it out. Saying, I don't care how I was. I know how I'm going to be. Amen? It's a new beginning. New life. Turn with me to Luke chapter 1. Mm, we'll go and read the Christmas story one more time, okay? 
Luke uh, chapter 1, uh, verse, we read from 30. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign forever, the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. I mean, uh, God's appearing to Mary. He's telling her, Mary, you're going to be found with a child. And he's going to be great. Just like all I'm saying today, right? You're going to manifest. You're going to be revealed as sons of God. You might be wondering, me? I'm sure Mary would have had the same thought. I mean, uh, look at Mary there. Isn't that what she's asking? How will this be? Do you have that question? How will this be? Right? I'm sure Mary had all the reasons to ask that question. She didn't say, you know, angel, wait, wait, wait. I know, you know, I understand what you're saying. But let me help you. Let me get married to Joseph. Let me go on a honeymoon, you know. Let me do all the necessary needed uh, formalities and let me come back. And then, he didn't say that. She didn't say that. She didn't say, oh, angel, you don't know how the human kind work, you know, how the human anatomy works. Let me help you, you know, let me get married. Let me advance a marriage date. You know, if you want to help me, book me, I mean, uh, book a nice resort in where? Phuket? Let me go for a honeymoon to Phuket. She didn't say all that. She said, I mean, uh, uh, of course she had the question. And then for that, how will this be? Okay. The angel is responding. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen. He's saying, see listen Mary, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of God will rest upon you. In another word, the flesh in you will be overcome by the Spirit of God. Amen. The flesh in you will be taken control by the power of God. This year, every day, you will have the power of God resting on you. Amen. For you to manifest the Son of God. Amen. And then it says, and the Holy One in you to be born in you will be called the son of God. So, you know what is the secret here? It's not Mary. It's not Mary's availability. You know, it's not Mary's, you know, everything right about her. It's not Mary saying, you know, I'm married. I'm ready to give. It's not that. It is a spirit of God who is going to come upon her. Amen. This year, you will have the manifestation of the sons of God, not based on you, but based on the Spirit of God who's going to rest upon you. Amen? It is going to be a year of the Holy Spirit. Amen? So you will have the manifestation. Do you know when a drunk guy manifests, an alcoholic? Tell me. When he gets, when the Alcohol goes, and the spirit goes inside, right? Till then, you know, there are some guys, before they drink, they are the sweetest guys, right? Nothing wrong about them. So kind, so sweet, so beautiful, you know, they can write, they can read, uh, do all these things. But let the spirit go in. They will manifest. I know of a story, okay? He gets caught by his wife every time. So I asked him, you know you're getting into trouble every time you drink. So why are you going home? Get drunk, go sleep in the park, then go home. He said, no, the problem is not. The minute I get drunk, I call my wife and then I tell her, I love you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Till then, <laughs> so if you do anything out of the usual ritual, <laughs> you get noticed. And the next minute, I get a phone call. You told me he won't drink again. Now let's call this marriage off. Then I'll have to go plead. 
you know, set everything and I'll have to put them together. So in the same way, you, you know, the, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Spirit will, t- I mean, the natural will be taken over by the supernatural. Amen. The, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, the finite will be taken over by the infinite God. Amen. Everlasting, eternal, ever living God taking over you to manifest the Son of God that is there inside of you. Amen. And all Mary had to do was let it be according to your will. A, f- a total surrender. Not worried about what is wrong, what is right. Not worried about opinions. Amen. Not worried about stories. Not worried about gossips. Not worried about what anyone would say. Just saying, let it be according to your word. You know, when the word will manifest, when the, when the word gets in touch with the spirit. Right? And this year, it is going to be a year of word becoming flesh. What you've seen, read in the word, you will see it manifesting. Amen? You will see it manifesting in you, through you, around you. Word will become flesh. You know, there's a beautiful thing after that. Uh, It says, um, verse 37, for nothing is impossible with God. For nothing is, you know, uh, we always think nothing is impossible means, okay, uh, God is going to, uh, do God can do anything, everything. That's how we have accepted it, right? It's true. But how? That's what I want you to understand, okay? For nothing is impossible. You'll have to break the word nothing into no thing, okay? And the no, leave the no. The thing, the thing should be looked at, uh, looked from the content part. Okay, the thing there, the nothing. Okay, God is telling her, you will be found with a child. Then God is telling her, Elizabeth, you know, your relative is again found with a child. In another word, what he's implying there is, you know, the thing that I've declared, the word I have spoken, right? The prophecies I've uttered, the blessings I've declared, the, my word that I've spoken over you, that word lacks no power to become a reality. Do you get it? The, in another word, you don't have to participate in making it possible. The word I have spoken. Amen. The word I have declared over you, they by itself has a power to become a reality. That's why we read in Isaiah, you know, every word of God that has been sent from him will never return void, but it will fulfill the purpose for which it has been sent. So you and I are under the power of this word. Amen. Which is the word of God manifesting, becoming flesh. So you, your participation is this. Let it be done according to your will. Let it be done according to your will. So you and I are called sons of God. And the world is waiting for you. In ego expectation. That means, you know, though they have the solution through the money, through the wisdom, through the knowledge, but they are still wondering, you know, I still want to see more. I want to see more. I will finish with this one last blessing, you know. First John chapter 5, verse 4. For everyone, amen, for every one of you, are you born of God? You believe you're born of God. You're of God. Amen. Everyone born of God overcomes the world. The minute we talk about world, Christians, you know what is the first thought comes to our mind? Tell me. Power. 
உலகம் பாவம் பாஸ்டர் வேர்ல்ட் மீன்ஸ் சின் ரைட் டோன்ட் வரி அபவுட் சின் இஸ் நாட் அட் ஆல் இஷ்யூ ஏ மேன் வேர் கிரேஸ் ஐ மீன் வேர் சின் அபவுண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ விச் இஸ் கிரேட்டர் கிரேஸ் ஸோ விச் யூ ஷுட் ஃபோக்கஸ் மோர் ஆன் கிரேஸ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ கோன் ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் சின் யூ வில் சின் இஃப் யூ கோயிங் டு ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் கிரேஸ் யூ வில் ஓவர் கம் சின் Amen. So don't worry about sin, okay? In another word, you, the, the, the God, the of God, you, has the ability to overcome everything that comes based on world wisdom. Amen. The intellect of this world. The power. It could be money power. It could be connection power. It could be network power. You know they say, right? Aar terima. Aar terima. and you know him you know you know all this powers right no matter what power it is the power in you is able to you know disqualify amen disqualify dispel any power that can come against you because you're born of god they can come with the entirety of their wisdom it happened to daniel you know they were so cunning I said you know what we need to devise a plan to you know tackle this guy Daniel he is just going up the ladder man we were supposed to be the chief of the wise men but look at him he's a slave boy he's setting he's set above us and they thought you know he'll be gone but little did they know the of god Daniel has the power to have every lion's mouth tied amen they thought lion power right their own power they can bring him down they can kill him but when you go there it could be a lion it could be a tiger it could be anything any plan they will be tied down because the power in you will tie them all down and the next day we read in the same chapter you know the king came early in the morning saying the god whom you serve faithfully was he able to deliver you and this daniel saying oh my king you know i'm a faithful guy is crying because probably you know he didn't have a good time with the lion stench and all of that that's why he cried you not because he was scared of lion because he didn't get enough sleep and next day he has to go to work right and the bible says they brought everyone who planned against him they threw him into the lions den um, before they could hit the ground the lions pounced on them so can you imagine the power that was tamed in front of daniel the of god daniel everyone born of god overcomes the world you will overcome you will tame down you will tie them down you will bring them down you won't be controlled but you won't be in you will be in control amen you won't be controlled but you will be in control why you are the sons of god and the world is waiting for you the world is waiting for you you have to do nothing just believe this and the next verse i mean let's finish with this who was it that overcomes the world only he who believes that jesus who is it that overcomes the world just believe is a son of god step out from this place saying i believe in jesus and that's why i am the son of god and i want you to know this year you will not be overcome you will become the overcomer amen you will not be in controlled you will be in control you will not be tamed you will tame amen you will tie them down they would be brought under your feet you will be the head and not the tail you will be above and not beneath why you are sons of god you are the daughters of god amen you are of god the old nature is gone the new has come the likeness of first adam is gone the likeness of second adam is given to you amen father i pray and the word that's been preached today will be a hundredfold fruit. Many people come back with testimonies 
of your goodness. Let them see the manifestation of the real them. The real them. Not the old, the taken away, the cancelled first Adam's likeness. A life-giving second Adam's likeness. They will see the manifestation of it in this week, Lord, as they step out from this place. Let people see you in them. I bless them. I pray a peace upon them. I command the angels to go with them. Be glorified in Jesus' name.